Hey guys, Jeff here with the Commissus Camper. Uh, new knife. I actually took this one out with my uh, horrific weekend that I had last weekend. And this is a company called Steel Will. And I believe they, they're new. They just came out uh, in 2015. This is their Druid series of knives. I tell you what guys, I am absolutely impressed with this, with this company and with this knife. I've had a chance to take this out, beat it up a little bit, uh, use it in a bunch of different situations, bushcrafting, you know, camp tasks. And I tell you what, I'm very, very impressed with this knife, especially at the price point of this knife. I, I think uh, this company is going to put a lot of production knife makers on their heels. Uh, so let's go over the specs. This is, again, Steel Well. This is their Druid series. And this knife is their Druid 265. It's a stainless steel knife. The steel material is 9CR18 MOV. It has a TPE handle. Their hardness scale is 58 to 59. It's a satin uh, finish uh, saber grind knife. Uh, it is 8.66 inches long. The blade length is just under four inches which for me is perfect and it's very lightweight. This is under five ounces. This comes in at 4.94 ounces. So enough with the specs. I'm going to tell you why I like this knife. There's a lot of reasons. Number one, I, I do like stainless steel. I, I do not feel like I have to have a carbon steel knife. Now if you're talking survival knives, it's a whole different story. But for what I'm out doing, out in the woods, this is perfect and I have had a lot of very well made stainless steel knives and I definitely put this in that category. Here's why I like it. It's a full tang. I like the material on the handle. I like what they did with, with the grooves on the handle. Because when this is wet, you can still get a really good purchase on it. I love the little raised area here on the handle. And the reason I like that is when you grab a, a tool or a knife, you have if you cup your hand, you have kind of this pocket right here. And that little bit of curve on the, on the back of that handle just fills that spot perfectly. And I felt no hot spots, no hand fatigue with this knife whatsoever. The other thing I like about the handle is they do have a lanyard hole on it so you can put your brightly colored paracord or shock cord on it so if you do drop it in the woods you're not, you're, you're not going to lose it, you'll be able to find it easily. It does have a little bit of a, a pommel on the end. Uh, I did find that you could you know, crush walnuts or what have you with that but other than that I don't know that I would really use that as a as a hammer uh, but you do have a little bit of a of a pommel there the other thing I like about the handle is that they put just a slight finger guard on it very slight uh, it's not a bushcraft type handle and where it you know runs in flat with the with the knife or the blade but it's not so pronounced that you feel like you're grabbing a tactical knife. It's just, it's perfect. It's, it's perfect in the hand. The other thing I like is on the handle, usually when you have a full tang knife and then they wrap a handle around it, they will either put a slight thumb ramp here to cover that steel or they'll take and start to round that off quickly right there at the blade. I like the fact that they just put it right into the handle and it's very comfortable if, if you use your thumb you know whether you're making feather sticks or carving or cutting uh, it's very comfortable. Half of, the, half of your thumb at least the pressure point part of your thumb which I find is usually about halfway here about halfway between my thumbnail and the meat part of your thumb is right on that rubber and the other parts just kind of resting on the blade so I really I really like that 
So the handle, I can't say enough good things about. Awesome. It reminds me of a Falkneven. Uh, and in fact, I will say this, this handle is more comfortable than a Falkneven. Just the design, uh, the, the, the handle material. If you take your thumbnail, you're probably not going to be able to see this. To give you an idea of the, how, how, how hard or how soft this handle is, if you take your thumbnail and kind of push in on it, you can make a little bit of an impression. But by the end of the video, that impression will probably be gone. In fact, if I just rub it a couple times like that, uh, most of that impression is gone already. So the handle's awesome. Even when it's wet, works great. The blade, what I like about the blade is it's very easy to sharpen. As far as sharpening, there, there are a couple knives that I own that I love to sharpen. They're just very easy to sharpen. That is my Old Hickory uh, Butcher Knives. Those are very simple to sharpen. And any buck knife. I found that the, a 110, a 115, a buck Vantage, those knives in the Old Hickory, for me, uh, and you can put mores in there as well, they just seem very easy to sharpen. This blade reminds me of that, those, those type of knives when it comes to sharpening. Very, you just take a stone, very simple to sharpen. You don't need a guide. You don't really need to strop it or put compound and you know work your way up and finesse the blade. It just it just wants to be sharpened. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, blade retention is excellent, considering it is a, a stainless steel. And again, that that goes back to the Rockwell hardness of of the blade. Uh, I did not have any chipping or any rolling with this blade. Uh, I wasn't building a log cabin with it, but I did do some batoning with it. I carved into some uh, uh, hardwoods with it, and I had no issues whatsoever with the blade retention uh, on this knife. The other thing I like is they put a little flat spot right here on the blade. And the reason I like that is I can easily sharpen the entire length of the blade. A lot of your bushcraft knives the blade, the sharp part goes all the way up to the handle and you get kind of a, a dull spot right there. This is just enough so that you can sharpen the entire length of that blade. Now as far as the spine of the knife, it was almost a 90. I, I don't know if they were trying to make it a 90 or if they just did that by default by how they finished the knife. It would, it would strike a little bit of sparks, but it wasn't great, so I did take my file to it, uh, about a dozen passes over it, and now it strikes a ferro rod really well. So uh, the thickness of the blade is perfect for me. This is measuring at about, I would say it's just a little heavy of an eighth inch. So perfect, perfect thickness uh, as far as the, the blade size. You know, if you're a Morris Kohansky fan, he'll tell you that the blade doesn't really need to be more than four finger widths. Uh, I, and I would agree. Now, survival knife, different story. This is not a one-two option. But this is something that I'm just keeping on my side, and I, I just really enjoy this knife. Saber grind. Uh, yeah, just absolutely love this. It just feels good in the hand. It also comes with this leather sheath. Now, is this a Wolf Custom? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. But this is not a throwaway sheath either. This is a very well-made leather sheath. Uh, the belt loop, I think, could have been a little thicker. But again, when you hear the price point, you're gonna, you'll understand. I don't think this is going to tear or come apart. Uh, but it is, it's a little on the thinner side of some other leather sheaths that I've received with my knives. But again, it's really well made. It's well thought out. Uh, it does have a drainage hole. And when you get it, it's going to be kind of flat. And that knife, the, the retention in that sheath is, is really good. Now for me, it was, it was too good. So what I did was I wet the end of this down, put the knife in there, overnight let it dry and in the morning it just it just seemed to be perfect 
Uh, there's, there's enough retention there where it's not going to fall out. Uh, but not so much that, you know, you're like trying to pull it out with, with two hands if it's on your belt. So dangler sheath, I love it. Great. And uh, very, 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 very impressed with, with this knife. Now, here's the, the beauty of this knife. This knife is on Amazon right now for $59. It's a five and a nine. $59. You will be hard pressed to find a knife of this quality. Just the knife alone, forget the sheath. Just a knife alone, stainless steel, under 60 bucks for what you're getting in, in this knife. The sheath is a bonus as far as I'm concerned. And it's a really nice bonus. And it's not one that I throw to the side and use a different sheath with. I'm actually using this sheath. So check it out guys. It's the Steel Will Druid Series. This is the 265 and I really like this knife. This is a very well made knife and watch out for these guys because I'm telling you you're going to see a lot more of this company. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper. Camping out.